What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. And in today's video, it's time to talk more about Nova Launcher Prime 7 with this tutorial on how to hide and unhide apps with two methods. Now, of course, the first step would be to delete pre-installed apps that you don't want and we call this bloatware. For example, Facebook comes pre-installed on the Z Fold 4 and I'm not looking into using it so I can uninstall it. However, we have pre-installed apps like the Galaxy Store and this can't be uninstalled so we may want to hide it. That being said, this tutorial will help you hide those apps that can't be uninstalled so you'll have a cleaner interface which will also simplify setup. And a side note, once apps are hidden, they don't appear in the app drawer. Now, if you're not sure what the app drawer is, it's this panel that when we slide up, all our apps are shown here. However, if you choose to hide apps that were placed on any of your home screen pages, these are the pages that you see here that I'm cycling through. They will still remain there, so you'll want to remove them manually after you've hid them. As for this video, it's featured on the Nova Launcher Prime 7 playlist. So you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to start with our first method on how to hide apps and that's going to be done in the app drawer. So we're going to pull up from the bottom of the display. And again, here we are in the app drawer. So I'm going to look for an app that I want to hide. We're going to use Bixby since I don't use Bixby all that much. I'm just going to press and hold. You can see that we get this nice pop-up menu and then we're going to tap hide. You can see that Bixby is now hidden. So this is the quickest method to hide in apps that you don't want to see and this will create a cleaner appearance. And now we'll go to our second method which is actually going to be in Nova settings. So we're going to type in Nova. And I always like to demonstrate this. You can see that we have Nova Launcher Prime and Nova Settings. You wanna make sure that you select Nova Settings. If you select Nova Launcher Prime, that's just gonna take you to the app info window. So again, we're going to tap on Nova Settings. So here we are in the Nova Settings page and we're going to look for the option App Drawer and tap on it. Now this opens a new window of App Drawer Settings and we're going to scroll down until we see the category Apps and then we're going to tap on Hide Apps within that category. Now this opens a new page of apps that are available for either hidden or that have been hidden. So anything that is unchecked, it has the potential to be hidden. And if we scroll down to Bixby, it's checked. That means that it is hidden. Now you may be wondering why I even brought up this method since we can hide apps using the app drawer method. And this method is still important because if you wanna unhide apps that you have hidden, you have to come to this page. Again, if you've placed any of these apps on your home screen, you're going to want to manually remove them after you've hidden them. We can press and hold and then tap remove. So that being said, it's cleanup time. So make sure you go through all those apps you don't intend to use to create a cleaner interface to simplify your setup. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you could support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to show your support is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are your ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.